All right, they're here, man. They're here. Our brand new customized Vokey SM9 wedges. Let's rip these open. Let's go, right? Yeah, man, let's go, right? Not only do we have wedges here, we've got what you all have been waiting for. We got our winner. Someone's uh, gonna win right. the custom set of the new Vokey SM9s. If you saw, starting with our initial first look video, we got the first look, we got to hit these a little bit in the sim. Then we went and got fit. Now we've done some customization. By the way, I have not seen your wedges. And I have not seen yours. Right. It's first time ever. This is the unveiling. This is a true, true unveiling. Like we did not tell each other what we went with, all the customization. Everything. So all of our customization in here is gonna be a surprise. But like I said, we've got our winner to announce. It came down to two really epic designs. We put it to a vote. Well over 1,500 people voted and we do have a clear winner. I'll tell you more about that in a second, but what do you say, let's clear these off. Who wants to start first? You want to just shoot for it? Sure. Ready? Rock, scissors, paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rock, scissors, paper. Paper. Shoot. <laughs> we can't even do this right. Wait, wait, uh, one, two, wait, 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 okay, ready? One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, shoot. You got me. I got it. I'm going first, let's go. All right, so we're gonna dig into mine, and one more time I'm gonna tell you guys, thank you for everybody who submitted your designs for a chance to win. We had hundreds and hundreds to sort through under that pick my SM9 hashtag. Some of you had just terrific designs cracking us so up. Good. Appreciate the effort. I hope you guys had fun doing the designs because I know it's one of my favorite parts of this process. And that Vokey website lets you just mock the whole thing up. You can get crazy with it. You can try different things. You can see them before you go and purchase it. Yeah, it's a good rainy day activity if you're just daydreaming about new wedges. You can just go build them. Yeah. You know? Now mine came in two boxes and I'm gonna show you why in a second, I ended up, if you guys didn't check out the fitting video, go back and watch it. I ended up with something that's brand, brand new to the Vokey lineup, which was that low balance K grind. LBK. LBK. And because of that, that is the only one that comes in only one finish. We talked about the, the black finish, you had the chrome, there was a couple brush different steel. brush steel. Lots of options, but because this one was so new, it only came in one option. So you're gonna see a little difference, but okay. let me show you that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell you guys who our two finalists were for the SM9 designs, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna tell you who won the vote. So let me just, wait, let me peek under the hood. Now, Mike has not seen these. No. Yet. I wanna see what I got in each one, hold on. Okay, I know what those two are. All right, hold on. Here we go. You guys might have picked up on this. I hinted at it, I said that this was the year I finally pulled the trigger and go with the jet black finish. Did now, you stick to it? The answer is yes, and I'm gonna tell you why the answer is yes. Two reasons, one, I love it. Actually, let's make it three reasons. One, I love it. Two, I've heard great things from people saying lately that that finish lasts longer than it ever used to. Right. That was the one thing people worried about. And the third reason is I wanna make myself the test subject. Okay. Because so many of you have been asking if the jet black finish stays, what I'm going to do, what I've committed to, I got the jet black, I'll show you in a second, and then I'm going to give you guys updates on the channel regularly showing the wear over usage. So if any of you are toying with the idea of going with that black jet black finish, but you are worried about how it might look, yeah. let me be yeah, your test idea. subject. All, All right? right? So let me Here show you the first one. Even the grips I customized, everything. Ooh. Here she is. Look, I haven't even pulled the plastic off yet. He hasn't even seen this. This is my 48. Ready? 4810F is what I did. And this is exactly the same as what I had in the SM8. We talked with Kevin Sprecher. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This club, perfect for me. Even went with, again, the same Project XLZ. This is the 115 gram shaft. This exactly matches the rest of my irons. Yep. Since this is a full swing club and I'm using it that way most of the time, Kevin and I talked about it. He suggested it. He's dead on right. It was worked for me really well. Keep the same shaft, keep that same feel for those full swings. The other ones I went with the with the uh, wedge shafts, but here I have matched the shaft with the rest. Beautiful. And here's your jet black finish. And I just did this really simple, clean skulls. Skulls in that kind of snowflake stamping, and I kept the whole, whole thing, thing blacked black. out. I wanted this thing like t murdered out, like just all stealth. black, super stealth mode. So we went That's all black cool. finish. That's the 48. Next up, this is the 52. Same 
thing. I wanted to keep the same aesthetic. All black, black skulls, same kept deal. it simple. Okay. No wording. Before I've had different types of wording and stamping. I wanted this set to be my cleanest set ever. I wanted it to just be like super uniform. One difference that I did here, we lowered the bounce. So this is the 52, it's the 08F. So we stayed in the F grind. Mm -hmm. However, we saw that video, we found that because I am more of a skimmer, I come in a little bit more shallow. Right. Sorry, I'm smacking my face. <laughs> I come in a little more shallow. What we actually found was that the extra bounce was causing more drag. I was oftentimes getting it caught up. So right. Kevin dialing us in as always, always thinking of something new. Even though I was, I would love my old 52 and was hitting it well, he's like, let's try less bounce. Mm -hmm. Again, you wanna see all the thought process, go back and check out that video. We got less bounce on this one. So these two, I want to just perfectly match it. The last one you're all waiting for. Is it time for the LBK? So much drama in the LBK. So much. <laughs> the LBK. Now I will say, I did ask for it in the jet black. Fortunately, they don't make this club in the jet black yet. This is what I'm most excited about, about this whole setup. Cause this low bounce was such a game changer for me. So there she is. The LBK. The LBK. <laughs> he did it. This is the super low wow, bounce. You can thing. see that. I mean, forgiving to death, mm -hmm. right? I kept this one stock. The stock chrome, that's the finish that they have. I just put the clean LBK on there. 60, love the red K on it. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't even have the bounce number. It's just low bounce. Yeah. I am so excited for this club after the way that I was hitting this thing in the fitting everywhere like bunkers i i think my usage for this 60 is going to go way up because i was avoiding my other 60 in some situations now i can see that i the forgiveness on this i'm going to use this so much more and this is where i needed forgiveness i just never hit the 60 well yep right and it just the low bounce just fits my swing so well but i kept this uniform same blacked out bob Vokey grip same golficity laser etching uh black bob Vokey sticker so there's a lot of similarities the only difference is, like I said, we got that one, but it'll stand out. It will stand when out. I go to grab my bunker club, I'll yeah, know which one it'll be, it is. It'll be easy. So there she is. I like it. I think you're gonna be confused though when you go to reach for the other two. Yeah? We'll see how easy, how we'll quickly see. you get used to it. How many times do you think on the channel you're gonna see me say, oh, I hit the wrong club. Right, no. it's coming. Hopefully I'm smarter <laughs> than that. All right, let's see what Mike's got in the bag. All right, I already feel like Mike's gonna outdo me with the customization. No, I mean, well, it's just like a circus compared to your stuff. <laughs> I mean, we went colorful, we have all different things going on. In fact, all the boxes came to my house and I had my wife open it to make sure because I didn't want to see it at all. She took one look and she, as soon as she saw it, she goes, yeah, these are definitely yours. <laughs> All right, so I stay with the traditional. I won't even look, okay. you tell me. I stay with the traditional, um, you know, color, the chrome, the tour chrome, and the shaft being chrome. I love these like tour, like velvet, I think it's called tour velvet yeah, grips. Yeah, black and white. Yeah. Really cool. Um, all right, so I had originally in the SM8s, I had a 50 degree, a 56 degree, and a 60 degree. And as you guys know, especially those who've been following the channel for a while, 60 degree, we call it my money club. Yes. I trust it everywhere. I love it, bunkers, greenside bunkers, rough around the green, maybe even like 80 yards and in, that's my shot. But Kevin said, you know, I think it's time we look at your gapping issues and maybe we look at something like a 46 or 48 or even a 47. And again, I was in a 50. So this is different for me. Because keep in mind, the pitching wedge we both use is 43 degrees. So that's where he saw a big gap. Right. So now I have the 43 pitch in the bag and now I have this 46 10F. First thing I went stamped in red here is the Divot the King. Divot King. Which I've now deemed myself as the Divot King. Red in the writing, red back here to all match. And did I do anything fun on the shaft like you did? No, I think I missed that memo. <laughs> so I just went with the red here. I, you'll see this. No, the direct. red, yeah. I went red with the sticker. red sticker to match the red stamping. And as you, you'll see in a minute, I've done that theme throughout. So again, I didn't want to get too crazy with other stuff. I didn't want to go any crazy grips. I've been used to these grips. I'm used to seeing them in the bag. So they match the clubs in my set, my irons. Are you like, like a big red guy? Because I, I do know you wear the red hat a lot. Is yeah. red your thing? I like red your, yeah, I like nice. Red's a nice color. 46 10 F. So huge difference from the 50, right? So four degree difference, and I'm curious to see, but but the issue with me is that 50 degree was only going like 125 and the pitching wedge was in the 140s. I was like, Kevin, I don't have anything in the yeah, 130 Yeah, a huge gap there. So this is my now 130 to 135 club. Stoked about that, because I do stand king. over there. And now I'm the Divot King, right? <laughs> there we go. Okay, next one. Yeah. So here we go here, we've got with a blue, you know I like my blue, my 5412D, 
appropriately stamped call before you dig. <laughs> call before you dig. <laughs> All right, right around. And I love, this is what I love about the Vokey custom design. The fact that you can wrap around like yeah. that. You can get more on it. There's more real estate. You don't just do a couple. You have the option on there to do like a one line and a one line below it. Yes. You and can, a lot of you it. mix that up. We saw in your designs that you submitted. So yeah. it really, it really lets you do whatever you want to do there. And you guys know that I'm, you know, a steep swinger, so I need to have that high bounce. So I'm 10 and up, as you'll see on all my wedges here. This is a 12D, 54. And, and no, the D grind does not stand for Divot King. No. It's the DK, maybe the D cage grind. Yeah. <laughs> but as you can see, I went with the navy blue and yellow here to kind of match that blue theme with the Bob Vokey sticker. That is awesome. It sounds like already you're going to be in better shape with your gapping. Yep. And then last, you know, the money club. It's not broke. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna change it. I did make a couple of changes to the way that I did it, but here you go. As you can see, we'll money. Get this out of here. I went with the green sticker here, the Bob Bokey sticker. <laughs> I almost just killed Sean. Yeah. And um, let me get this off. There it is, my money oh, club yeah. with the dollar signs, green 60. Now I went jump to a 14k. The K well, grind. Not the, in the K last the time. The K was a change for you. It was a big change. And I was hitting it. Remember those short pitch shots? Yeah. 30 yard shots to the green. I was getting more control. It was more accurate. The balls were not flying over. I wasn't sculling them. So this has been a huge change for me. I love that I went with this like unique stamping like around. That was my theme throughout just to go around the wedge instead of just one liners like I've had last time. I love it though. You guys, let us know what you think in the comments. But now the moment you've all been waiting for. So let me pull up first our two finalists. And one thing that I will say is thank you again to everyone who submitted your designs. There were between Twitter and Instagram, there were well over 200 designs, even that I just saw flipping through them. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they're still rolling in after the deadline. The deadline was about two, three weeks ago. There's probably three, 400 designs in there right now. Don't worry if you missed out on the deadline, we will do more giveaways like this, but we say it in every video, if you didn't already do so, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. The last thing we want is you guys to not see these videos until after the uh, yeah. giveaway deadline mm -hmm. has ended. But for everyone who submitted them, thank you. You guys did an unbelievable job. What we ended up doing is Mike and I each picked our personal favorite. And then we took those personal favorites and put them to the uh, put them to you guys to vote against. So right. this one was yours, right? Yep. Okay, so Matthew Thieser, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, uh, at Matt Thieser on Twitter, he submitted this one. He said, for all the sweepers out there, new L grind, spread that butter. Love it. Well done, Matthew. That one's awesome. And then the one I picked, and, and interestingly enough that uh, both designs are in the black. Yeah, finish. sure. Mm -hmm. We actually saw a lot of people submitting the black finish, um, which makes me feel better about my decision. <laughs> like I said, I know a lot of you like the finish, but we're worried about how it stands up. So I will give you those updates over time. Uh, Jeff M, he said, uh, I may have to get this even if I don't win it. Um, and he has okay. blacked out. He chose a 56 degree. I love how he cut the black on the let on the uh, the loft and everything. He put a little bit of a pop of white. And yes, we do notice these nuances in the Bob Bokey mm -hmm. logo. And then he just put throw darts on there. Love it. So let's talk about the vote. This one was close. Wow. That's what I'm gonna tell you guys. I was watching this. It was up for 24 hours on our story. If you're not already following us on Instagram, make sure you follow us at Golficity. I was checking this thing every couple of hours and I'm gonna tell you what, it was bouncing back and forth. And at one point I literally saw 51 to 59, to 49. Mm -hmm. It was close. So validation that both designs were really excellent. But our winner, our winner who wins a custom set of the Vokey SM9s is Throw Dark. Nice. So Jeff, Jeff M, you are our winner. We're gonna reach out to you to get your address so that we can hook you up and first get all of your specs and get all of your designs because you don't just win one, man. You win three. Right. You get a full set. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Thank you to everyone who entered. We will have more giveaways like this, but congrats, Jeff. Yeah. Thank you to the whole Vokey team, the whole Titleist team. Can't wait to game the new SM9s and we will give you guys updates real soon. We'll have these on the course. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.